Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here at the Miserable Liberal and Ron Placone. Hello. Hello. So uh, we're doing a uh, net neutrality story again because, uh, well, because the unwinding of net neutrality will begin on April 23rd. April 23rd. Net neutrality protections move closer to coming off the books today with the publication of the Federal Communication Commission's new rules in the Federal Register. Parts of the chains are set to go into effect on April 23rd. However, the bulk of the order, which reverses the tough net neutrality rules put in place in 2015, still doesn't have a date for when it'll be official. That's because the rules modify data collection requirements and therefore have to be approved by the Office of Management and Budget. Once that happens, the FCC will publish another document in the Federal Register announcing when net neutrality protections are actually done for. The publication means that a new fight around net neutrality is about to begin. States and other parties may now be able to sue over the rules. Some have already gotten started and a battle in Congress will kick off over a vote to reverse the order entirely. But while the fight... Well, while that fight likely won't get far in Congress, since Republicans by and large oppose net neutrality and control both chambers, I thought, but most people are for net neutrality. So some Republicans are starting to come around, but it, but it's still like the CRA, the Congressional Review Act, with what this is referring to, would still kind of have a, a long climb because it's also got to be signed off by uh, by Donald Trump, yeah. and so. It's still worth trying, but uh, but but it it would be a long road, and it's and it's long, and there's a, a a likely a long and heated legal battle around the corner for the FCC's new policy. Absolutely, there's organizations. Plus, the Democrats could take over Congress in the 2018. Mm-hmm. Right, that's very possible. And then they could, but they would need Trump to sign off on it, right? If they tr- switched anything, if if they went the CRA route, I mean, there's there's like a lot of other ways to fight this too. States they, are they imp- could get Trump to, go, but you know, Trump's very malleable. People don't realize this. Like mm-hmm. Trump is not an ideologue. He doesn't give a crap one way or the other. I'm sure he does. The only pr- time he uses the internet is Twitter. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, not like he's researching stuff, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm sure he would be if like if, if the sentiment he felt in the country was to get rid of to, to pro net neutrality and the Democrats pass something. I think he just like he's doing something. He's doing something with the uh, with gun legislation right now. He's doing some minor things. Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's one of those things. There are some unlikely allies in the net neutrality fights, like some really powerful uh, conglomerates like like Google and Netflix and stuff like that. And so, I mean, if somebody with the right kind of power his has ear. his ear, you know, so maybe. Google- Google, Google is for net neutrality, mm-hmm. but and so is Netflix. Mm-hmm. But people like Comcast and Verizon, they're not for net neutrality because right. they provide the internet and they want to be able to screw you. Yes, the the, yeah. the companies whose current business model favors a free and open internet, they're for net neutrality. <laughs> the companies who provide the internet and would really benefit if net neutrality went away, they don't favor net neutrality. Um, and what is best for the citizens, net neutrality. That's kind of, you know, that's how we have these unlikely allies. But, you know, there's still the states are making their own laws, which will also lead to some conflicts between the FCC and states, which is a good thing, hopefully, uh, if the state legislation can hold up. I mean, we did a report on ours here in California where the way it's written, uh, it might not hold up in the court of law. Um and then another way that th- that this can also be fought is people are suing the FCC itself, uh, freepress.net. I mean, there's a lot of organizations working on, you know, a, a case action suit against the FCC. So because it, it went on the books officially today, as of the recording of this today, like it's on the books now, people are kind of like, oh, well, I guess we lost. No, we didn't lose. There's still a 60-day period for a CRA. There's still all kinds of legal battles going on. Nothing's going to be un- unrolled until April 23rd, as this article tells us. So uh, don't give up, guys. And, of course, the long-term fix that we're pushing for, municipal broadband municipal across broadband. the country. You know, you know, let me ask you this, Ron. Maybe you heard about this, but I heard that. So, so now we had, uh, remember when we had 3G? That was such a big deal. We got 3G mm-hmm. on our phones. That was, whoa, 3G. Then it was 4G, right? Mm-hmm. Then it was uh, 4G LTE, whatever that means, <laughs> right? So now I hear it's going to go to five. Mm-hmm. So four is pretty. I can stream videos no problem on four. I mean, it's 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 unbelievable how powerful four LTE or whatever it, that I have is. So if it goes to five, 
will you even need a, a, a landline cable, right? No. Right. So why wouldn't there be more people join, getting into the internet providing market wouldn't that make it yeah easy? because now you don't have to have a cable that only that that's a monopoly right they have a cable go to your house mm -hmm. that cable company like right but now with uh this uh you can get if you can get 5g over the just so why it seems like it would be easier to start up a company that provides wireless internet than a company that provides wired internet right right and 5g how fa that's fast right arno yeah, so I, this, mean, so, I mean, some people so are saying that's going to be the solution. So why wouldn't there be a company that provides wireless internet that's net that's neutral? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it's around the corner. I mean, I, I think there's the cable companies have been prepared for this, so they've laid some red tape out. That's why some uh, of the communities trying to get the municipal internet they've faced some hurdles. Yeah, um, and that's just like part of the battle that's unfolding now. I mean, I, I think in the long run, we're going to win this thing. We'll be better off when all the dust is settled. But I hope so. I think you know. you're right, by the way. I like that you're hopeful. <laughs> I do you know, like when Jimmy mentioned, you know, in 2018, maybe the Democrats will come in power. I have no hope about the Democrats doing anything uh, for the sake of the people. Right. They're corporate captured also. So, yeah, you're right. So you but the we we may get municipal internet out of this, which is that 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 would be a great solution. Yeah, that ends the fight once and for all. That would make everything better. Mm -hmm. Everything would be better after that. Okay, so fingers crossed. Please make sure you're subscribed. If you think you are, you're probably not. Come see our live show. We're going to be in uh oh, no, we're already How about Burbank, California on the 30th of March? Of March. There's there's a link for all our shows right there.